Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, uh, Crescent City Conjure's channel. My name is Sin Elias. I'm the owner of Crescent City Conjure and today I want to share with you a working to nail an enemy down. Now the purpose of nailing down works are to make someone's steps feel heavy, to make every action that they take um, laborious. And usually this is going to be used against someone who is actively working on you. I like to use it as a beginning step for negative work. So if I'm trying to completely stop someone or completely silence someone um, or to remove them out of one's life, I'll often do a nailing down work first to stop any actions that they're currently doing against my target. Um, this is very helpful in um, cases where violence is a, a factor where legal action is a factor where gossip is a factor you want to nail the person down so that they can't continue to perform uh, these negative actions against you to start with we have a railroad spike the railroad spike is going to be used to nail it into the ground once this working is constructed iron is very good for um, putting weight on people's feet so that they feel like every step that they take is extremely heavy. Next, I have my target's picture, which is on the back of this. Um, it's going to be used as a petition. I have my confusion oil and I have my domination oil and I have my red string and I have the target's information here. Um, and I have my working space set up with a glass of water. I previously did a control and command candle on this individual and so I'm burning that while I transition into the nailing down working. I also have um, a plastic bag that I'm gonna be using to dress the candles and I have a figure candle of the uh, gender of the individual that I'll be working on. So to begin with, we want to write our petition on the back of the picture. I'm gonna use this one. And you're gonna need two pictures uh, for this work. You're gonna need two pictures of your target. So we're gonna begin with writing the target's name and date of birth. And so these are considered their personal concerns. written, it's time for you to um, attach the petition to the railroad spike. And you want to make sure to wrap the petition going away from you. And this is a sign to spirit that you want uh, this person to leave your life, to go away from you. That you are decreasing your uh, their energy against you or any... Um, any plans that they may have against you, any actions that they may take against you, so on and so forth. And so now that your petition is wrapped around the spike going away from you, you want to take your red string, and I suggest um, using a whole lot of it, so maybe five feet worth of red string, because you're going to need to completely wrap this spike in red string. And I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. Take your red string at the base of the spike, like so. They begin wrapping it away from you. And this is another sign of spirit that you're trying to send this person away. And then say uh, blank, so your target's name. As this string ties you to the spike, the consequences of your action against blank become a heavy burden which weighs you down. The guilt of your wicked plots makes you unable to move. You are now stuck and bound. Until you change your ways and make amends, you are completely buried underground. No further moves against blank are possible. You have lost the light of the sun. Sleepless nights and anguish are all you know until you face what you have done. As this string ties you to this spike, the consequences of your actions against become a heavy burden which weighs you down. The guilt of your wicked plots makes you unable to move. You are now stuck and bound. Until you change your ways and make amends, 
You are completely buried underground. No further moves against blank are possible. You have lost the light of the sun. Sleepless nights and anguish are all you know until you face what you have done. And continue to repeat that until the string is completely wrapped around the spike. Once the string is completely wrapped around the spike, you want to tie it three times in a row. Now that your spike and your petition are completely wrapped, go ahead and grab your plastic bag. We're going to be using this for protection because we're using um, confusion and domination oil. We don't want to get any of that on our hands. You can also wear gloves, but this is my preferred method. And you just want to use uh, maybe uh, three or four drops of domination oil and three or four drops of uh, confusion oil. So the purpose is to confuse the target so that they're not able to make plans against you and then to dominate them so that even if they can conceive of plans against you, uh, they can't follow through with the plans. And you wanna make sure to get the spike completely dressed with that oil. Make sure the string and the iron and the picture are equally covered. You can find the confusion oil and the domination oil at CrescentCityConjure.us. We're gonna put the plastic bag aside. and begin to dress our figure candle. To begin dressing your candle, you wanna start with writing the target's first, last name, and or carving the target's first, last name, and date of birth into the candle. And words like immobile. Incapable. No energy or effort. After your words have been carved into your candle, go ahead and grab your bag that has the confusion oil and the domination oil in it again. And dress that candle in it. For this working, you're gonna need two petitions of your target. One is gonna be tied to the spike and the other one is gonna be burned down into a powder that will be dressed into the candle itself. And so you wanna take your picture and burn it down to an ash. One of your pictures. This is how we're going to add the personal concerns to the candle. After your picture has been turned into an ash, you want to take that ash and add it to the bag with the candle that has been dressed in confusion and domination oil. And get a nice even coating of the candle with the personal concerns of the individual. And voila, we have a correctly dressed uh, figure candle of our individual. Once the candle is completely dressed, you want to balance it on the top of the spike 
and this spike is curved, so it's gonna be a balancing act. Your spike shouldn't be curved. Once your candle is balanced on your spike, take a light and light your candle. After your candle is lit, your spike is dressed and you're ready to go, you wanna read Psalms 56, verse six through 10, three times in a row. And this verse is fantastic for domination. You want to read that over the candle. They gather together, they hide, they mark my steps. When they lie and wait for my life, shall they escape by iniquity? And anger cast down the people, O God. You number my wanderers, you put tears into your bottle. Are they not in your book? When I cry out to you, then my enemy will turn back. This I know because God is for me, and God I will praise his name, and the Lord, I will praise his name. They gather together, they hide, they mark my steps. When they lie and wait for my life, shall they escape by iniquity and anger cast down the people, O God. You number my wanderings, put my tears into your bottle. Are they not in your book? When I cry out to you, then my enemies will turn back. This I know, because God is for me. In God, I will praise his name, and the Lord, I will praise his name. They gather together, they hide, they mark my steps. When they lie and wait for my life, shall they escape by iniquity and anger cast down the people, O God. You're no, you number my wanderings, you put my tears in your bottle. They are not in your, in your book. When I cry out to you, then my enemies will turn back. This I know because God is for me. In God, I will praise his name. and the Lord, I will praise his name. And this is our completed spike. The flame just went out. The spike is nice and hot. You wanna give it about 10, 15 minutes to cool down before you touch it. The next step is to nail it into the ground, nailing the person down. So the final step, your spike is nailing it into the ground.